Hello and welcome back to another video in the series about the Cloud Resume Challenge. In the last video we basically set up our API endpoint. In this video we're going to take on some of the JavaScript aspects of the challenge. So in our front end what we're going to be doing is writing some JavaScript code that will request our API. It's going to grab some of that data that comes back from the API and then represent it on the page. So the API itself is returning the count, the number of users that are visiting our page. And then what we're going to do is receive that count from the back end and then just show it on our front end. Okay, so in the last video, what we looked at was setting up our API. We skipped over the database step and we'll come back to that in another video. And what we're going to look at today is actually this JavaScript step. So we're gonna use our JavaScript to call our API that we set up last time. The reason that we did the API first is because we just needed to set up those cores configurations. If we'd have made our request without having those cores configurations set up, we would have had the error that we talked about in the last video. So now we're actually gonna go ahead and write a little bit of JavaScript into our page and let's have a look at what that would look like. So this is the code that we're going to add, which we're gonna add this script tag and this content. Let me show you what that actually looks like within our page. So over here in our index.html, I have added this script tag. That's going to make a fetch request to our API. This is the API from API Gateway. It's going to then parse that response and then it's going to inject the response from the API into our page so that we can see it. So you can see here we've got document.getElementById. We're going to get the element with the ID replace me, which we can see down here. So I've added a span, given it the ID replace me. And then I'm going to get the inner text property and I'm going to set it to data.count. Now data is the response of our API and dot count is the actual numeric, numeric value, which will be the user count for our website. So very simple for now. This is a very crude, this is the simplest way that you can add some JavaScript to an HTML page, which is just using an embedded script tag. There's many different ways of injecting uh, JavaScript into a page, lots of fancy ways that you can look into and you should look into them. For instance, you can have an external script file. That's another way of advancing this. Or you could even use some fancy tools. You can use things like Webpack. You can use scaffolding tools like Create React App. Uh, for building a React application that's going to bundle all your JS uh, into the file, into the into your website for you. But this is just the most simple way that we can get this running uh, for now, and it works for our use case. So I've already deployed that, and let's have a look at what that looks like. So in fact, this is not the deployed version. This is my local version, but it works the same, uh, which shows us now we have visitors, colon, and the visitor count. So if I just quickly go back to our HTML, that is this part here. So we've got the visitors and then we've got our span. And once that API request is made and returned, we were going to replace that value in the page and see our visitor count, which we can see over here. And that's pretty much it. So we're grabbing that response from our API and we're injecting it into the page. So now all we need to do is go back and integrate our database into our API. So we're actually getting a legitimate user account and we're pretty much um, chewing through most of these tasks in the Cloud Resume Challenge. If I go back, we can basically see that we're quite a way through it. We've actually done HTTPS, we've done our DNS setup. We're now just going through the JavaScript so I can say that that's done as well. Database we'll come back to and we'll do Python at the same time and then we'll pick up the rest of the bits uh, in some subsequent videos. But yep, that's all for today. Just a little bit of JS just to fetch in that user count. We can do some more advanced stuff uh, with that in future, but have a look into the things that we mentioned, such as the script tag, uh, the injection of the JS, and you can do a whole bunch of research into this JavaScript, like what is a fetch command? What is this dot then? How is that working? What does this uh, what does this line do? What is document? What is get element by ID? There's lots of different things here that you can look into and investigate and start to understand about what's going on here. And you should do that. So, okay, that concludes this video and I will see you in the next video. Okay, so there you have it. We are using our front end to call the back end API and we're receiving that counter and showing that on the screen. Well, now we're definitely more than halfway through the challenge. What's left is actually to integrate the database into our backend so we're returning a real value rather than the mocked out value that we have now. And then also we've got our CI CD pipeline to create, but we're already getting quite close with it. We've got our front end, we've got our backend created. We just need that database to be hooked in and then we're, we're getting very close with the, the whole challenge now.